All right. Hello, world. Jelani Kelly here. Today, um, I'm going to start doing some vlogs. Hopefully, uh, my wife, at Jada Kelly Fit on Twitter, will be joining me. But tonight, she was a little sleepy. So, I'm going solo. And that's okay. I can, I, I can manage this. Um, tonight, I'm going to talk a little bit about gym etiquette. Um, we're going to probably go over a lot of stuff at the gym, um, health and fitness stuff, um, workouts, things like that, just to keep it interesting for those who are caring about their fitness and stuff like that. But tonight specifically, what I really wanted to talk about was the proper use of the squat rack. Um, I don't know how often you go to the gym, but oftentimes you'll go to the gym and you'll see the squat rack being used for things that aren't squats or power movements or Olympic movements. And what I wanted to talk about is just the proper etiquette for that. First of all, when you get to the gym, you gotta understand there's not a lot of squat racks in most regular gyms unless you are at the power lifting facilities, um, a Golds, a Worlds, a powerhouse gym, things like that. They probably have a good variety of them. But if you're talking about your franchise gyms, such as the 24 Hours, the LA Fitnesses, the Bally's, the Crunches, and things like that, they usually don't have a lot of squat racks available. So let's, the first etiquette thing you gotta understand is you need to be aware that there's a minimal supply of that, So and it's used specifically for squats. Um, now, there's a lot of things you can do there. The problem that you see most of the time is you see a lot of guys doing barbell, bicep barbell curls in the squat rack. That's not okay. That's a problem. That's something that needs to change immediately, ladies and gentlemen. You can do barbell bicep curls anywhere on the floor with a barbell. Anywhere. You can do it by the bench press. You can take the use the bench press rack. You can use the incline bench rack. You can use the decline bench rack. You can use the military shoulder press rack. I'm giving you multiple options. You do not need to be at the squat rack or in a power rack to do bicep curls. Now, this is no knock on barbell bicep curls. They're clearly important to developing nice arms. But let's remember people, there's a plot of time and a place to do things. And the power rack or the squat rack is the place for bicep barbell curls. Take a barbell off the bench press, because there's usually eight bench presses everywhere, or six. Take one barbell, walk yourself over to a open area on the work weight room floor, put your barbell down, load it with your plates that you need, and start curling. And when you're done curling, drop it down to the ground. All the way to the ground. Not that big a deal. You don't need the squat rack. You don't need it. So, today, keeping it short, keeping it sweet. But that's something I want to remind you guys. No bicep curls allowed in the squat rack or the power rack. Okay? You also really don't need it for shoulder press either. Alright? You can do shoulder press. Anywhere in an open space. Let the racks be for people who really need it to do squats, deadlifts, which that's up in the air too. Some deadlifts, you really don't, you don't need the power rack for that either. But it's reasonable. It's at least a leg motion. Um, front squats. Uh, I think that's about it. Let it be for those things, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, uh, happy lifting. Train hard, eat well, enjoy life, do well with everything you do, give it your all. Um, we'll be back, hopefully we being me and Jada, uh, not just me. But today, I wanted to do it, and so I did it. Uh, good night, world. I hope you have a nice week. Uh, it's, it's Thursday night, so it's almost the weekend. That's always good. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.